Zappi, wide receiver, Derek Stearns. Open for questions. Uh, Hey guys, congrats. Um, you know, Bailey, first of all, we've talked about the records in the past. Uh, you know, I guess how aware of those were you as this game progressed? And, you know, now that you've set the single season, you know, touchdown passes and single season, um, you know, passing yards records, what does that mean to you? You know, I was aware of them. These guys kind of kept me aware of it. But, um, you know, it just it means a lot to me to be able to, you know, achieve this with him, um, you know, the rest of my teammates, you know. It's, it makes it even more special to come out with a W as well. And, you know, that was our main goal, you know, coming into this game. No matter the records, no matter my record, his records, um, was just to come in and get this championship and get this W. And um, we were able to do that and then also break those records. So it makes it even that, it makes it that much better. You know, for both of you guys, this is a really good App State defense. You guys were able to put up 637 yards, 59 points. What was the biggest key in that? You know, no turnovers. That's the biggest thing. Um, you know, we played turnover free today. Uh, we were clicking on all center, cylinders. We started fast. We finished fast. Um, it's by far one of our, you know, best games of the year um, as offense. So it was, it was awesome. I know Coach Kennedy played a huge part in this, but the, you guys honestly had one of the greatest duos in maybe college football history, just the way that you guys played throughout the entire year. What does your relationship between the two of you guys mean to you, and especially capping it off with Bowman? To be honest with you, I hate the guy. I can't stand him. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I mean, uh, I mean, off the field, we're best friends. I mean, we're together all the time. Me, him, and Josh. Um, you know, we're all playing a game, going bowling, going to eat, and I think that just helps you know translate to the field and just building that connection on the field as well. And we're also we've been playing together for four years, so just just building, you know, improving over the years together. And you know, we've seen it come to fruition this year. And you know, it, I'm very grateful to have him on my side. Well, uh, it means everything. It's, it's a lot more than football. Like you said, we do everything together. I don't think there's a moment we're not together. And, like, if, if we leave Bailey out of something, he gets mad. If he leaves me out of something, I get mad. So, like, we're just always doing something together. And I think that you can really see that on the field. Hey, guys. Uh, Bailey, I, when Coach was in here earlier, he said that he was acting the bad guy when he took you out of the game when you were 33 yards away from 6,000. Do you care to comment? <laughs> I told him that he's the head man. I went up, pleaded my case, say, hey, I got 33 and first ever 6,000. Um, but, you know, it's his call. He said no. So, I mean, I was happy with it. I said, as long as I can do the victory. Uh, we haven't been able to do that, I don't think, any victories this year at the end of the game. So just to be able to go out there and kind of cap the game off with just, you know, the ones, and that's really what, you know, I wanted. Thank you. All right, guys. I mean, Max said something about your guys' duel, but I mean, like you said with Coach Kitley, you guys grew up basically together, and now your final game, he, you guys are going on to bigger things. He's going on to Texas Tech. What did it mean to you guys to just give him the final bowl win here? I mean, everything. Uh, without Coach Kitley, I don't think me or Bailey would be here. So we owe our career to him for sure. And like, we just wanted to go out with the bang for him. And that's what we did. I'll piggyback off of that. I mean, my freshman year, I'm sure you all have seen it. It wasn't very good. And then when he came in um, to HBU, he definitely turned my career around. Has you know, been a big part of why I am the way I am you know, today on and off the field, um, and especially as a player. And he's definitely improved my game tremendously. And you know, I'm forever grateful for what he's done um, you know, for my college career and from then on. Thanks, guys. Bailey, when you had that uh, connection at the end of the half, um, right before that set up the touchdown. Did you know that that pass had, had broken the record? Or, or did you know, like, after the, the passing yard record? And did you know, like, or was it the touchdown afterward that you kind of realized? No, I, I had no idea about the yards. Um, actually, he was the one that told me at halftime. He was like, hey, did you know you just broke this? And I was like, to be honest with you, I really didn't. Um, it's hard to keep up with the yards because, you know, we have Mitch that scores like an 80-yard touchdown. <laughs> and then it's just like, all right, how many do we have right now? But um, I did had, honestly, I had no idea until we came in here at halftime. And then you did know, though, when you got the, the touchdown that was the record breaker, right? Yeah, everybody celebrated a lot more than usual. But, uh, <laughs> um, you know, just uh, I think it was the Mitch, right? That's a breaker, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's, it's awesome. You know, it was a good route by him. I was able to just to put it in his vicinity and make the catch, and he made the play and um, then celebrated from there on. He tried to get the ball away. And he tried to get the ball away, like Mike Evans for Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> So, Bailey, knowing that you're a prospect for the NFL draft, is it exciting to have such an opportunity? Yes, ma'am, 100%. I mean, it's 
it's what you know I've dreamed of since I first started playing football when I was five, and it's what he's dreamed of since he started first started playing. I mean, to be in this position for the both of us to, you know, have the opportunity to go to the next level, is you know it's a blessing. And um, I think if we're both have the ability to get that opportunity, we're for sure going to take advantage of it. And you know, I'm hopefully he can. It'd be weird to see him on the other side of the ball if we both make it, but you know, we'll for sure be happy. Jareth, what do you think clicked for you to, today to help you have such a dominant performance? Uh, I, I would just give the credit to everyone else, honestly. Uh, Mitch making big, uh, big plays on the outside and then obviously having the best quarterback in the nation makes my job a lot easier. And then I don't think our O-line gets the love they deserve, but all year they've kept this guy clean for the most part. So I just really just want to give the credit to everyone else. Jareth, on, on Monday you said that Bowling Green's your home. Uh, I know Bailey also said a lot about the town. What does it mean to bring home the win after all these tornadoes and all the damage that occurred? It means everything. I hope today that uh, everyone back home was watching and they felt like just positive about everything and just kind of just forgot about the tornadoes for a temporary moment. So uh, I'm glad we got to do that for them today. Uh, you know, for some reason, everybody wants to talk about the passing game, uh, but the rushing attack today, 215 yards, you know, probably the best running game, uh, you know, of the season for you guys. What did you see lead to that success? I was literally, I was literally just looking at that. I was like, 231, geez. Um, you know, for the way we throw the ball, the way we pass, our power, our passing game is, it, it opens the holes for the run game. And um, to see that come in, you know, into effect today, you know, Noah's long run, I mean, that's it's awesome to see. It's easy for us. You know, it's easy for me to just be like, all right, here, no, you run. And he's able to do that, and he's a phenomenal running back. Um, you know, we're blessed to have four of them. And, you know, all four, no matter who's in there, we know we, they want either or they can bust one. And, um, you know, just, uh, you know, the run game and the pass game, they, they help each other out, and we're able to do both of those today. And, you know, we're able to put, what, 59 points on the board. So it was a good day. You know, Tyson always talks about the full body of work. Um, just shy of a year of you guys, you know, deciding to come to Western Kentucky. I guess what's this past year been like for you now that the season's over? Yeah, you know, I'll say it again. It's been the best year of my life. Um, it's by far the best decision I've ever made um, coming to WKU and getting a transfer portal and, you know, coming up here with these guys and Coach Helton. And, um, you know, I'll, I'm sure I'll have meetings with him, you know, after this or, you know, whenever I'm back from a pro day. But, you know, I just want to tell him thank you, and you know, I'm I'll forever be grateful for him giving me this opportunity to come be a part of his program, and um, you know, it's it's definitely worked out. And, and knowing what's ahead over these next few months, um, I mean, I know you have the All Star uh, Senior Bowl, I believe, and Jeff, I know it's going to be a grind free as well. Do you guys have any time to kind of decompress, or is it just basically uh, all about trying to get that next level? I think I'm going to have like two weeks off and then I'm back to training. So, I mean, I'm literally getting back tonight, hopping in the truck tomorrow and driving all the way back to Victoria and then I'm just gonna kind of relax, try to forget about football. I don't think that's possible, but, um, you know, try to get away and get ready for, I think it's like the January, first week of January, I head out and start training. Yeah, about the same for me. I'll probably take about two weeks off before I start training again. Just take some time away from it. Just let my body heal a little bit and just, Hit it again. Any questions? All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you.